trackers. So in the last video we created this and now we want to change the message that I sent to green and set the message that was received from others to blue. So how do we do that? We do that using uh, decoding the front end of the so decoding the to token JW token in the front end. So as you can see, whenever the message is sent in the server, so whenever a user ID is been dispatched to the front end. Okay, so so user ID is dispatched to the front end, and we need to compare it with the user ID that is logged in, and then we can set the color to green. So so to do that, what you need to do is um, so let's create a state. So where is it? Chat room page. Yeah. So we'll create a state user ID, comma set user ID equal to react dot use state and it's an empty string for now. So whenever we get this, so let's get the token const token equal to local storage dot get item. So what do you want to get? Uh, we want to get CC and script token. So that's it. So if token is there, what we want to do is we want to decode it. So, so cause get the payload from it exactly. So get the payload. What we need to do is we need to split the local storage token dot split with a dot and get the first part. So after you have split that we need to do is we need to call this function b to a no or it is a to b so this will convert the base 64 into normal string and now what we need to do is we need to json dot parse this and that's our payload so set user id to what do you want to set it to you want to set it to payload dot ID so that's it for now so now that we have the user ID what we can do is go to this so instead of other messages what oh sorry so instead of other messages what we want to do is get user ID equal to messages dot user id then we need to give it a class of own message else we will give the class of other message <clears throat> so once we have done that let's try it out let's go back join the chat room and do the same for this one join the chat room say hello and send so yeah so Hi, and it's green over here and it's blue over here and that's how you create a chat application using Monstack. So this is quite basic tutorial and there are, I know there are a lot of flaws but the whole key concept here is that I just want to share the idea of how you can use socket I rooms and how you can use the socket. So the state management can be made much better and the APIs can be made much better and this user interface can be also made better and there are a lot of places to improvise so <coughs> make sure you do uh, some improvisation on your own and that's it for this playlist and please comment what you require as the future videos on and I'll work it out for you so that's it guys thanks for watching the playlist and being with me till the end and i'll see you in the next playlist maybe i'll need some ideas so please drop it on the comment and i'll also link this code to the github and link it in the description so all right guys happy hacking bye